We're going to talk about culture of food safety as it pertains to restaurants and food service establishments. So, Chef, tell me, how do you foster uh, a culture of food safety within your kitchen? Well, uh, the culture of food safety is about, uh, it's about behavior, it's about accepting, uh, understanding first and then accepting the rules that, that, that go around it. Uh, as you know, microbes, we cannot see them, we cannot uh, smell them, right. so it's a, it's a matter of establishing, establishing systems and, uh, and, and plans so that uh, everyone handles the food appropriately. Uh, right. That's how I see it anyway. Okay. So. But the, uh, you know, our industry is a, a little special in the sense that we have a lot of new employees all the time. There's a lot of right. turnover. So uh, there's not really a lot of time to do the training appropriately. Uh, so then we, we need these, uh, these rules, we need these standards, we need this uh, way of doing things that, uh, that we write down in the form of a food safety plan and, and, uh, and then we get everyone to, uh, to buy into that. Awesome. So, so um, maybe describe to me what would you do if you saw one of your um, your food handlers maybe not following your food safety plan? Like, how would you deal with that? I fire them. You no. fire them. <laughs> that's no. a good way to no. go with it. <laughs> no. no, I think we. Uh, you know, that's uh, you cannot talk about this food safety plan. So. Uh, Obviously, then the, the training mm -hmm. will, will come in, and there there is right. some training being done, obviously, but that's that's what is is there therefore. And typically, a food safety plan will have several steps. So, uh, you know, even if one of the steps is not done properly, and if it's got right in there, then there's ways of fixing things and right. make things better after that. So right. that's that's the whole idea of the plan. So we don't wait until we have trouble uh, in order to fix things. We we fix them as we go on. So right. Which is excellent, because I think at the end of the day, there's no such thing as perfection. And as long as you are observing the behaviors and you not only correct uh, folks when they're not perhaps meeting right. what you've laid out in your food safety plan, right. and you also reward them when you see that they're maybe um, meeting and oftentimes exceeding yeah, the requirements. Yeah, the, 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 right? big, the big reward for us yeah. is getting a pass from the health inspector. But, uh, of course, <laughs> that's the best part, no. right? <laughs> but uh, no, I, I think the, um, <coughs> you know, the, uh, the, the, the food safety is 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 around the, around the behavior. It's just uh, it's about training, and it doesn't take right. more more time or more effort in, in doing right. the right thing the, uh, yeah. at the at the right time. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's uh, yeah it's it's a culture for sure. Yes. Absolutely, and it's a continuous process, and, and certainly that's been my observation. And as a food safety specialist, when I come into an organization that has a strong food safety culture, it's in, reflected in everything that is done. In exactly. that establishment, which is amazing. Exactly. So when you, once you get used to uh, to, uh, to applying these rules, then it, it just becomes routine. It's just like yeah. brushing your teeth in the morning. It's just you do it, yeah. and, and you don't even think about it, right? Exactly. But sometimes the rules are, you know, that's mm -hmm. uh, one of the issues we have sometimes with food safety. Is there's rules that we don't understand why they exist. Mm -hmm. uh, again, because it has to do with microbiology and controlling those microbes and so on. And so uh, when I uh, when I talk about uh, rules and, and the food safety plan, I always try to explain why. You know, mm -hmm. why are we doing that? Mm -hmm. And you know, what is the potential behind? And and what could be the options of, of doing that? Because sometimes right. there are options. You know, the book says something, but the reality mm -hmm. is sometimes a bit different as well. So. Right, and, yes. and certainly I think that as a food safety specialist, that's something we would look for, is you know asking you as the chef, okay, how do you, let's say, cool your, um, your volumes of, of soup that you're preparing, or your right. gravies, right. or your stocks? And at the end of the day, we're looking for a specific outcome, and however you achieve that outcome, yeah, and, and is fine. that's an excellent example because uh, every kitchen is different, and uh, uh, Food Safe used to tell us that uh, uh, the best way to cool down a large volume of, uh, of uh, liquid, say a soup, for example, would be in shallow containers right. and, and so on. Well, I dare anyone to find enough space in the fridge and enough right. shallow containers to do to, to cool down yeah. a, a, a big amount yeah. of, uh, of soup or anything else. So, you know, we have to find other ways of, uh, of doing it, and there are other ways of. Uh, of doing it, so uh, as long as it it, um, it cools down the liquid uh, within the required amount of time and, and so on, then then why not? I mean, it really Absolutely. doesn't matter how we do it. So, so. Perfect. So great. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.